Hey class, Mr. Woodbury. I'm working on section 9.2 in the interactive assignment. This is the seventh problem, 9.2.34, and I just wanted to go over how you would get started here. To begin with, I want to copy the set of data into StatCrunch because I need to draw a normal probability plot and, or what we call a QQ plot, and then I've got to figure out whether the population is normally distributed or not. So I'll copy the data into StatCrunch. And I'm just going to make a quick QQ plot. That's under graph, QQ plot. I pick the column with the data, var1, and I have to add the correlation statistic. Also, for other options, I need to look at the normal quantiles on the y-axis uh, just to make sure that the graph matches up. The compute. First thing I need is my correlation statistic 0.983, I'll remember that for later. And then I want to see which of these graphs fits this graph that I have. So let's take a look at uh, the possibilities first. And there's two that I know here that I can throw away because it goes up to the right. And typically the QQ graph should move up to the right. So B and C are impossible. Now, when I'm trying to figure out whether it's A or D, um, I'm looking to see a pattern in the data. Um, I'm going to focus in on these two dots that are right over one another. Notice that there are three to the left here, but in this graph in A, there's only two to the left that I see. So let's go back and take a look at that graph. Here's my two points right above one another, and there's three to the left of that. That appears to be this graph right here. So I'll select that. Uh, in this problem, you know you have two chances to get the right answer, and we know it's not either B or C. So if you pick the wrong one by mistake, you'll still have one more shot to straighten things out. Okay, now that that's done, um, this is the part that some students were having trouble with. Since the correlation between the expected z-scores and the observed data, that's the value that came from the graph in StatCrunch, 0.983. Remember, you have to ask for the correlation coefficient to show up, and then you'll read that at the top of the graph. Since that value, well, I don't know if it exceeds the critical value or not, so I need to look at that table. The table is the first one linked in the problem. Click here to view the table of critical correlation correlation coefficient values for normal probability plots. Our sample size was 12, so that means the critical value is 0 0.928. 0 0.983 is greater than that, so it exceeds that. So it exceeds the critical value of 0 0.928, and because that's true, that means that we can assume the data come from a population that is normally distributed, like so. And there you go. If you have more questions with this problem or any others, just drop me a line. I'll help you out.